Hello, I'm Councilwoman Laura Pastor, and it is October. What happens in October is Fire Prevention Month. I am located in District 4 off-site at Fire Station 61. What are we going to discuss today? Smoke alarms and how important it is for us to have a smoke alarm in our home. Welcome, Captain Cheatham. Thank, Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Councilwoman. So, please explain to me why it's so important to have a smoke alarm in our office in our house or office? Well, it's extremely important because that's our early detection if we do have a, a fire in the home. Most of the people that die in fires um, do not have a working smoke alarm. If you don't have a working smoke alarm in your home, you increase your chances of being injured in a fire by double. What does it mean to have a working smoke alarm? Well, working smoke alarm, what it means by having one is having one that's been installed correctly, um, it's been kept in good condition, and that's by testing um, the smoke alarm once a month mm -hmm. um, and replacing it in case the battery or the smoke detector is ineffective. And then when we test it, we want to test it um, with the family around so that everybody recognizes that sound. And we also use this to kick off what we call our home escape plan. It alerts us that there's a fire in the building, how do we get out, and then go into the family meeting place. So Captain Cheatham, I have to admit, once a month, I test my smoke alarm. And the way I test it is by burning food. <laughs> and so I know that my alarm is very active only because there's smoke going up and I am like, oh no, I'm burning something. But could you show me exactly what you mean by testing? I will. Now as I close the uh, battery compartment here, you'll hear a chirp. That means right now that the uh, battery is active. If I hold down this test button for a few seconds, then you'll hear it go into test mode. And we'll hear a series of chirps. And that right there, those uh, six chirps, concludes our test. We know that it's working and we're good for another month. How long does a smoke alarm last? Well, they're built for 10 years. Um, we have, as in this one, we have a 10 year battery um, where this is just your regular battery. Okay. There is now a new city statute though that if a smoke alarm is to re be replaced, it's to repla be replaced with these newer versions. They're 10 year smoke alarms and they have a sealed lithium battery in there. Got and it. that's gonna be good for 10 years and that's all you need. So what we'd like is whenever you have to replace a battery, we'd like you to replace the entire smoke alarm. If that's not possible, then at least get the 10 year battery. So. I have been on a walk, mm -hmm. and you can uh, explain it to me, and the walk was to knocking on doors to see if the batteries or the smoke alarms were working. And what we did is we knocked on the doors and said, do you have a smoke alarm? And if they said yes, we asked, could we please uh, look at your smoke alarm and see if it was in working condition? And so they al most residents allowed us in. Uh, I was with the firefighters. Mm -hmm. Those that didn't have a smoke alarm, then we gave them a smoke alarm. Actually, we installed the smoke alarm. Right. So what's the name of that program? The, that's uh, part of our smoke alarm walks. What okay. we do, and it's great that, uh, for instance, the one you had in your um, district in April, uh, we target certain areas where maybe there was a fire um, or, or something that happened there, and we target those areas, and we really canvas uh, the areas, again, like you mentioned, checking to see, do people have sm uh, working smoke alarms? Can we test them? We actually replace them at those times through those programs. So uh, walks like those that you put on really help us identify um, those areas of need and we can get those people that may not come to us for a smoke alarm or be able to get one themselves. So if, I'm an, if I can't afford to get a smoke alarm, where do I go? Well, there's a couple places you can, you can go. You can always go to phoenix.gov slash fire for more information. Okay. Go to our fire prevention. Uh, NFPA.org has information. But uh, one of our partners, the Red Cross, also has a program where uh, they can help install it and possibly provide a new smoke detector. I appreciate all the work that you do, Captain Cheatham. Thank you, Council. Especially for our community and keeping us safe. Thank you for watching. If you need anything, please contact my office.